If you don't already believe overalls are the single most perfect must-have wardrobe item for summer, you will by the end of this video. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to show you a bunch of super different but all super cute ways to style overalls for the summer slash in general, mostly summer, but a lot of them you could wear in other seasons. Also, I just want to say up top in this video, I have one pair of long traditional overalls and two pairs of short overall dresses, aka skirt alls. So all the outfits in this video will not be styled with traditional pants overalls, but pretty much all of these would work with any types of overalls, pants, shorts, dress, whatever. All right, let's get into it. All right, for our first look, I wanted to start with one of my favorite contrasting combos, which is overalls plus a frilly, floaty, very feminine top. Normally, my first impulse is a white puff sleeve blouse, but then I thought this pink vintage sleep top would be a new way to convey that same vibe, and I'm absolutely in love with this pairing. I wanted to keep the rest of the outfit light and feminine to match the top, but still casual to match the overalls, so I went with my white platform sandals, white shoulder bag, some simple jewelry, and a claw clip, which I think all come together to create a really sort of sweet yet effortless look. That it's giving very much like chill yet still chic Pinterest girly. <laughs> Next, I wanted to style overalls with a high neck tank top. Because overalls are already cut quite similarly to a standard tank top, a high neckline is a great pairing to avoid competing necklines that are too similar and show off the top a little better. This one is extra fun to show because of the little ties and the ruffle at the neck. Those neck details also give me sort of whimsical fairy tale vibes, so I kind of leaned into that cottagecore energy with the straw hat and nude ballet flat style mules. Finally, I also added my green striped tote bag to develop that green color palette a little more, you know, add a matching element, and make the whole look a little more casual. Altogether, this feels like a perfect farmer's market outfit, and honestly, that's what overalls are all about. All right, for this next look, I wanted to style a funky printed long sleeve button up. This one in particular gives me sort of vintage clown vibes and overalls are also kind of clownish. So I just kind of kept along the vintage, but make it clown <laughs> theme. Does that make sense? That feels like nonsense, but I feel like looking at this, you get what I mean. First, I knew I wanted to add a belt to give a more classic vintage inspired silhouette, which is also a great overalls tip in general. If you ever want to switch up the look, cinching the waist gives a whole new vibe. I also had to go with my platform loafers because they are the perfect combo of a classic vintage inspired type of shoe but in a chunky modern version that honestly is kind of giving clown shoes. Finally I also added this bag for another little structured classic detail. Okay, next up, I wanted to pair the overalls with flare sleeves because, as I mentioned in my last video, with overalls, the sleeves are the most visible part of your top, so it's the perfect opportunity to really highlight your most fun sleeved shirts. Immediately, I wanted to add these big flower earrings for that sort of flower power 70s vibe, but also I feel like I default to 70s vibes a lot in my outfits, so for the rest of the outfit, I decided to switch it up and add white sneakers and a claw clip. I know that's not really switching it up for me, but switching it up when combined with the more 70s elements, okay? I do think this totally transforms it to like 2000s Lizzie McGuire vibes instead though, and I am always down to look like Lizzie McGuire. Okay, for this next look, I wanted to style overalls with something transparent underneath because just by the nature of the garments, both sheer clothing and overalls are literally meant for layering, so I love the dimension they create together. I also love the look of a dainty frilly feminine piece paired with tough edgy accents, so I went with this lace top and then channeled more utilitarian edgy vibes by adding a harness, which is also another great way to change up the silhouette with a cinched waist. Finally, for shoes, I had to do my chunky black boots to complete the cool tough vibes and in the end I felt like a spy but with a little twist in the lace top and spy with a twist kind of a perfect aesthetic all right we are now transitioning to the blue jean skirt alls starting with a bikini top I think this is such an adorable fun combo for summer it's kind of like the ultimate little top big pants when you think about it especially if you paired it with actual pants overalls for this look we're also fully leaning into the beachy vibes with my platform sandals and matching white sunglasses plus this very cute little floral tote bag to add more color and serve as a beach bag in our imaginary going to the beach wearing overalls scenario <laughs> a bralette or tube top could also work great for this type of styling or any other styling i just think they would also pair great with overalls 
All right, next up, I wanted to style a fun little short sleeve button up. And like with all the tops in this video, this type of top could be styled tons of different ways with overalls. But today I decided to go sporty with it because this particular top gives me kind of sporty vibes. Of course, we chose white sneakers for shoes. And then just to really drive home the sporty street style look, we added a baseball cap, these sports sunglasses, and this crossbody bag that I try to style in that close fitting way to sort of like give the vibe of a crossbody fanny pack. You get it. Honestly, sporty is not normally what I think of when I think of overalls, but this is one of my favorite looks in the video. I think this is so fun. Okay, next up, I had to style some overalls with a baggy graphic tee. Such a classic, cool, foolproof combo. And again, there are so many ways you could go with this, but I wanted to do a classic art ho look. It's giving mid-2010s Tumblr obsession with Van Gogh era, you know? First, I did have to add a hair bandana, which wasn't actually popular yet at that time, but it definitely still gives that artsy nature girl vibe, which also just goes so well with overalls. Then to really drive home the teen coming of age movie, Movie vibe, I chose my geriatric Converse that I have actually had since I was like 15. That's 10 years. And some cute matching yellow socks poking out to complete the 2015 quirky girl vibe. Okay, next up, in contrast to the baggy tee, I also wanted to style a fitted baby tee for a different look. So I went with this red one and then added a bucket hat because they are just the perfect overalls accessory. They both have such fun, playful energy. It just makes sense. At this point, we kind of have like 90s street style vibes, which is very fun. But then I went with these chunky boots to like mix it up and do something unexpected. But now I'm like, no, bitch, it just doesn't match. Why didn't you just do white sneakers? So I don't know how to feel about this one. Let me know if you like the mismatch or if you're more into a cohesive look in the comments. All right, for the final section of this video, we are switching to my black skirtles. And this first look is the only one in this video that kind of only works with an overall dress. And that is because we are layering another dress under it. I mean, you could just layer a mini dress under regular overalls too, but here I am styling it so that the ruffled hem is visible at the bottom. And honestly, I was worried this would be a flop, but I totally love it. Again, I went with sheer because I just love how it pairs with overalls and added my jade earrings to add some color and vintage charm. I especially love that this looks really natural. It isn't like a noticeably out there outfit, but it also feels very original. I've never seen anything like this and that is really fun to me. I love to feel special and creative. <laughs> For this next look, I was again inspired to use as many different types of fun sleeves as possible, so I had to style this balloon sleeve top. This top also just kind of screams Rococo to me, so I really leaned into that formal opulent look, especially with this coin necklace, which I recently recovered from my sister's old high school bedroom, and I think it looks so good here. Then, just to add a little more contrast, I pulled from the white in the shirt and went with a white bag and boots. Plus, these shoes and a bag both work for sort of formal vibes, which is something I love about this look because who would have thought subtle Rococo vibes could work with overalls. Okay, for this next look, you know I had to do puff sleeves, the one sleeve type I haven't focused on yet. And like I said in the first outfit, normally I would go for a white puff sleeve blouse, but I thought this brown plaid one could be super cute. Plus the back details are so fun. I also thought a monochrome look would be a fun way to switch up overalls and make more of a statement. So I went for an array of brown shades in this look with these brown tortoiseshell earrings and a tan beret, which I admit is not really summer appropriate, but like, Look how adorable this is. Obviously the shoes and overalls themselves are black, but because it's similar and neutral, I think this definitely still reads as a purposefully brown outfit. Finally, for the last outfit, I had to do a more naturey, planty granola girl look because that's kind of really the ultimate overalls look and I haven't quite done it yet in this video. I started with this mushroom t-shirt because A, mushroom, perfect, and B, I also wanted to highlight how perfectly a tiny graphic like this works peeking out of overalls. Next, I added simple sandals, little braids, and a big canvas tote bag to cultivate that laid back camp counselor vibe. And then just for an extra fun detail, I added ribbons to my bag and my hair. The hair ones are repurposed hanger straps from a dress, by the way. Finally, I also added my glasses, which are prescription, but also, more importantly, they definitely lean into that Pacific Northwest hip vibe in this outfit. All right, y'all, please tell me your favorite looks from this video in the comments. My last video included three other overalls looks, so if you're interested, you can watch that right here. Also, I heard if you like, comment, and subscribe, you 
will successfully thrift a pair of classic denim overalls. Something I have yet to do. Also, there's no overall emoji. But if you're still watching, just put the words overall emoji in your comment so I know that you're a real one. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.